X, net scalar training to the extreme. In our last episode, we looked at simple load balancing and we did a few minor customizations. Now I'm going to show you something even more powerful and quicker App Expert for load balancing. App Expert is like a template, it has a lot of predefined things ready for your application. You just load the template, do some simple configurations, and you're done. It's just that simple and that powerful. I'll have these templates on my website as well, n90x.info. So check it out. If you want to do an App Expert, use App Expert. Open up your, your GUI, and here's App Expert. Import App Expert template. Well, let's, let's first talk about what we want to do. Uh, I have my Zen server, I've got, I've got my Netscaler appliance that's running, and I have three web servers that I want to load balance. There is a generic load balancing template available and that's the one that I'm going to show you how to use. So, if you open up your GUI, go to the App Expert tab. Click on Import App Expert Template. It's going to give you the introduction, just click Next. Find your template file. Now notice here, uh, I can put templates on the appliance, so you can actually push these templates and have them on the appliance for, ref for reference and for quick use. Uh, but mine is locally on my PC, so I'm going to click local, and it is here generic app expert template. I'm going to open it, click next, generic application. You can give it any, any name you want up to, I guess, 288. 28 uh, letters, so generic application load bal for load balancing, that's what I'm going to call it. Click next. Now, here I need to specify my backend servers. So I'm going to add the three backend servers that I have. Oops. And you got to be very careful, as we saw in the last video, you got to really type in the right numbers. So 141, 142, and 143 in my case. Close it out. Now notice before uh, you had the option for selecting HTTP or HTTPS traffic. We're, we left it at HTTP because this is all on port 80. Now that I've created my backend servers, I'm going to click Next. And now I need to create my public endpoint. Again, it's HTTP. I'll give it 145, again, port 80, and then click Next. Okay, I've pretty much finished the wizard, and I'm going to click Finish. So, I've got a warning. Remember those blue exclamation points I told you? These are features that you have on the NetScaler which are not enabled. What's really great about the latest code base is that it's going to warn you if it's not enabled. And here it is. Content switching, compression, integrated caching, rewrite, content filtering, responder, and application firewall features are disabled. Do you want to enable these features? Of course, click yes. We have detected that memory limit to store cache objects has been set to zero. Caching may not work correctly. So, of course, we need to change the values of the cache. And I'm going to make it 200 megabytes, let's say. Okay. Uh, that's it. The configuration is successful. Click exit to close the wizard. Click expert, exit. Okay. Now if I look at my app expert applications, I'll see the app expert template that I just installed and some of the uh, features that are there. But let's see what actually is happening at 145, the endpoint. I go to if I go to 145. I should see the same load balancing that we saw before. 
Yes, and I'm seeing that. Red, blue, green. Red, blue, green. So that's using App Expert templates. It lets you very rapidly, very quickly load a template, add some minimal amount of information, and get your application up and running. There are app templates for many things out there. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to use App Expert templates for SharePoint. So stay with us, and thanks for watching N90X.